How are you guys doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Is this camera shaking? I, I don't really know. But anyway, it's currently quarter past 12 in the afternoon. I woke up at 3 a.m. for work. I haven't been to bed yet. Sophie's on her way to my house and I don't know the outcome of this video. We may be getting a new car today or in the next couple of days or we may just go look at it and just be like, yo, this might not be the car, but it's a dark gray ZTEC S 1.6 and um, we're going to look at it. Honestly, I've been waiting for one to come up very local and none has except from this one It came up last week now I said to the guy it was because it was on there for this price I'm not gonna tell you but I messaged the guys like can you go any lower? He knocked about 200 quid off since then it's had about 400 pound off and we phoned him up early And we managed to see how low they could go past uh, the price that they took off which is 400 pound from last week So obviously they want to sell it. So yeah, we got we got a load of money off it We're going to look at it I'm glad that I've got someone coming with us, which is Sophie's dad, because um, I don't really know what I'm looking for. I remember with this car, I was driving it for months with a bad wheel bearing, and it was pulling to one side, and I didn't even notice. Honestly, my dad got in it and was just like, yeah, it's pulling to one side, it's got a wheel bearing issue. I didn't even notice, honestly. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm glad we've got someone coming with us to also like test drive it and stuff and just, just look at it, just see if it's actually good. I've looked at the MOT history, that's the first thing I do. The MOT history is so clean, and if I buy this car or whatever, uh, you guys can search the reg and just be like yo that MOT history is pretty clean like it's it's a 2009 It's a 58 reg It's dark grey and the MOT history is clean It's failed two MOT since then and one's been on like a tire and something else and that's literally it It's been no advisories nothing It's so clean. So hopefully this car's good Like I said, it's 2009. So it's a big upgrade from this which is 2003. I don't want a mark 7 fiesta My sister's got one Everyone's got one, therefore I don't want one. So for everyone commenting saying, why don't you get a Mark 7? Why did you get an old Mark 6? Because they're too popular, I don't want them. And uh, yeah, I know if I do get it, there's gonna be a load of comments saying, why did you get another Fiesta? Why would you go for a Fiesta? And uh, I don't know, I just like them. They look cool modified and therefore I want it. So yeah, we're going to look at it. Sophie's on her way to my house. She should be here like any minute now. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get picked up and um, Go look at this car. Honestly, can't wait. Hopefully, it's what I'm expecting. And we might come out of a brand new car. Who knows? And then we can start doing stuff to it. I'm just not looking forward to put everything back um, to this car. Because <laughs> I've got to do the old stereo, everything in this car. But yeah, that's it. Also, I forgot to mention this car is obviously a facelift model. So the dials, the front... The front lights, the back lights are all different as well. Just to point that out there. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go back inside now. Just come in the car, just to do an intro. And then I catch up with you guys once Sophie's either here or we're driving on the way there. Or once we get to the garage, I'll pick the vlog up. And uh, yeah, we can go see the car together and see if it's any good. I've never been to a garage before, so this should be pretty fun. And uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys then. Right, so I test drove it, it drives fine, but the key or the button in there doesn't open the boot. Like, you actually have to physically put the key in. But everything else is alright, it drives nice. It's been sat in storage, but it looks alright. Obviously, these plastics will go back to black. The brakes, it's just the only other thing is just like the wheels, but I am getting new ones anyway, so I don't see why it matters. And obviously, it's going to need new brake pads and brake discs, but... I was going to get them anyway, you know, like it's everything that I was going to do to the car, but it looks really nice and it was really nice to drive. So it's, like I said, it's 2008, well it's 2009, but it's an 08 plate. But yeah, I do like it. So we are back from the garage. I'm not really too sure how much I filmed. We was looking around the car. It looked all right. Now, after that recording ended, we sat in there and then I decided to come back out because I wanted to do some more checks. So I just check if the aircon was working, which... It wasn't. Now, nor was the heat. It didn't seem like the heater worked either. It only seemed like it worked because on the ZTEC S you got the, the four circle vents, like the main vents, and then you get two extra, and then the windscreen. It seemed like the windscreen ones were working and the little vent ones, but the four circle ones, they wasn't working for some reason. It just didn't seem like they worked. Any dial that you put it on, if you put it like you want to get you, like, your feet warm, that didn't seem to work either. Like None of that was working, so... Yeah, that was the the big issue that I didn't really didn't really record. That that was after that clip. I decided to go check it. The boot you had to physically put the key in for it to unlock. I don't know. I don't know what's up there. Like it could just be a wiring issue. But if it's not that, you know, it's 
it sounds expensive if you, if you don't know what you're doing. And uh, it probably does cost expensive to repair. So yeah, the boot wasn't working. You physically had to put the key in. You couldn't press the button. You couldn't actually press the button on the key. None of that worked. So that was another flaw. There was also around a tire, there was a bit of rubber that was like hanging off. There was a couple of scratches on the car, but they were nothing major. They was very minor. You could have easily got them out. They, they were like the slightest marks. So they could have easily come out. So the brakes on the car were shocking. I was test driving it. I braked and it took so long to stop. It was also making a noise when you brake as well. And uh, the brake disc, it had, I, I don't know what it is. It's like a rounded lip or whatever. It, it basically had that. So it needed new brake pads, new brake discs. So, uh... It wasn't worth it. It also had curb marks around all four wheels. So yeah, had a lot of issues wrong with it. I, I, I didn't know that until we actually went around the car. Oh, well, I did know that before the clip, but I was going to get new wheels and stuff for it anyway, so it didn't really bother me. But it, the place just seemed really dodgy. I did look at the reviews last night. Now, some of the reviews were terrible. Now, I still wanted to go look at this car because it had immaculate history and, you know, it could have been a good car. It still could have been a, b a good car, but it's just so many issues wrong with it. Uh, it's just no point spending that kind of money on a, on a car that's half broken. But yeah, also when we was in there, some guy said to Sophie's mum, saying, um, you don't really want to buy a car. It's kind of terrible and it matches up with the reviews that I've read online yesterday. So yeah, after that, we was like, yeah, we're going home and, and that's where we are now. The Z Tech House was very nice to drive. I honestly can't wait till I get one. Yeah, it was very nice to drive. Now I'm, I have to t put up with my old car that look, feels like it's falling apart. But yeah, it's very nice to drive. I'm gonna upload this video as a video anyway, just to uh, just to show you that I'm actually looking for a car. Now, if there's any more that comes up anywhere local, I'll go and look at it and hopefully go and buy a brand new car because. Car I've got outside. I just want to get rid of it. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, I'm ill, so that's right the reason why my voice is voice is dodgy and everything. This camera stopped focusing. But yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Hopefully, we get a car very soon. Peace out.